Gonna go find Matt and pick me up cafe. We think he's waiting. What are we ordering? Oh god, I usually go, well it depends what time, I usually, I'll buy you a buff chick wrap. Sweet, really that sounds awesome. Yeah, we always get what our guests get, so yeah. that's cool. And how about for the sides? Ooh, what a, a good side. Um, fries, fries, where you go. Fries, fries. Yeah. Across the board. Yeah. If we could get like the a sizable amount of ketchup, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Second yeah, guest in a row we've had that <laughs> loves ketchup. <laughs> Lots of ketchup. It's so well, good. Yeah. Just, just for the fries. Just for fries. <laughs> Even though we're going in the car, if you guys are in like the north side of Chicago, you should check this place out because it's so colorful and amazing and everywhere there's nice. And they have vegan, vegetarian options. There's the breakdown of that. Now we're gonna focus on Matt. Buffalo Chicken Ranch Wraps, acquired jump cut. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Thank you. I feel like this is packaged so well for the car. Yeah, dude. They, like they knew. I love when fries are seasoned a little oh, bit yeah, too. Oh yeah, they have Old Bay on them. It's so good. Oh, I love that. Does anyone, do either of you want my pickle? I do not. Do you like pickles? I think they stink. All right, you sons of bitches. Guess who we got in this car today? Boy, oh boy. Friend of mine, filmmaker, comedian, improviser, stand-up, college soccer player. Do less. Do less. Get down. Attractive man. <laughs> Matt Baker, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm the dude. I basically just wrote your resume for you. So. Yeah. Sure, you forgot rapper, but. But Jay was mostly made of blacks, just racist acts, and turned these camps like some faceless jabs. Can't debate the facts, but it's amazing that your brain adapts and you got what it takes to create some raps and to make it last. Take the place of Matt, so hop on a stage and just lace a track. We always ask our guests where they want to go. Pretty much immediately. Pick, pick me up cafe. Mm -hmm. Not Dope only because spot. it has delicious food, but apparently during some unemployment days, you pretty much lived here. This was yeah. uh, your home. <laughs> we all like have those say, spots. I like to say all the good things, and then Sean I'll likes to talk about yeah. all your, I gotta yeah. your trust. I do the peaks. I'm like, this is all the cool stuff he yep. does. It. And then Sean would be like, yeah, he was also unemployed like an idiot yeah, for two I think, months. Uh, so the three was, comedians it's a good balance. People gotta balance each other out. You can't feel good. Yeah, it was a difficult time. This guy sucks. It's funny because it's like, so I I try to journal every day. Okay. Nice. And uh, and then I write the date, the time, and where I'm at. And like I was going through an old journal, and like 75% <laughs> of the messages <laughs> were like at Pick Me Up Cafe. <laughs> That's so funny. I thought you were gonna be like, and Sean, I will be journaling about you yeah. saying that yeah. about me, oh, and you're I dead will. to me. <laughs> I will. So was this the thing you got? Well, for the first two years, yeah. And then um, they have a bacon Benedict that's oh, like wow. really good, but I figured it'd be hard to eat in a car. Well, I could only afford this when I was unemployed. <laughs> Remember you brought it up get, earlier? I couldn't spend the extra dollars on the bacon Benedict. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah. So what are we working with here? We got obviously some buffalo chicken. That's right. Looks like some lettuce in there, some green leaves. Uh, some sort of sauce, and that's basically it. I feel like, right? Packaged to perfection. Yeah, this the, is well fries wrapped. In there. Feels like uh, Kramer butts with some Cubans. Aren't they supposed to be rolling cigars? <laughs> well, it didn't quite work out, and now I've got nothing for them to do. I like curb your enthusiasm. Oh, oh it's so good. Like, I know you don't have to pick, but if I but was, me too. Asked yeah, me, I would pick <laughs> yeah, yeah. Totally. Hello. Excuse me. Do you have that yeah. technique? I, I do a great excuse me. It's a language. It's a language. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cool. All right, cheers, guys. Cheers. cheers. It's an honor. Well, thanks for having me. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, this is real good. I love buffalo sauce. Dude, this is my favorite. I'm buff chick addicted. When you said buffalo chicken, inside, every dancing gif in the world just started going off because buffalo chicken is my go to. You think in gifts? I do, because I, so much of my life is online. Mm -hmm. Now I just live online, too. And That's head. the future. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I say emojis out loud. I think <laughs> a lot of people do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, everyone, Matt here. Did you write, direct, and act in it? And edit it. And you edit it, too? Mm -hmm. Love this yeah. guy for that. Dude, this dude made a movie. How sick is that? First letter, please. E. Elizabeth. Yes. What the hell? And it's on Amazon, right? You just search that or what? Search Ghost, it'll come up. It's free to stream if you have Prime. Um, mm, then we can probably link it below this video. There you go. Yeah, right. free if you have Prime, and then you can rent it and, stream, and buy it if you so, are so inclined. An awesome movie, by the way. I watched it. I had a couple friends over on a Friday night. Oh, that's so. When you told me that, like that detail of it, I was very touched. Yeah, dude. I was like this was this, this was an entertainment. Like, yeah, I it was. Good. I had my buddy Tim and my buddy Eric over. Tim and Eric. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I never even <laughs> think about it. But yeah. Can I tell you my favorite part of it? 
Definitely. And I should say parts, because it happened multiple times. My favorite parts were when you told a chunk of the story with little or no dialogue and used like music as the tool and just like really cool shots. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like you had a couple times where they were just like basically that, like just good music. I don't know, the shot selections on those particular scenes were just super sick. Thanks, I, man. I loved that. And that's difficult to do, tell a whole story without any dialogue. Yeah, one thing that was a huge plus, a good friend of mine from college named Christy Bellinger let me use all of it. She was like, you can use any music you want for mine. Oh, wow. And she's oh, really awesome. talented. Like, she's in this band now that got a song featured on Time. Like, she's, like, definitely going places. And then I just reached out to her. And, like, I really thought, like, the music that I was able to... And I reached out to another band I knew from college. And then I had beats from rapping <laughs> that, uh, I, yeah. that I owned. So I was able to use that. I really think the music helped take it to, like, the next level. Of, oh, totally. You know. My favorite thing is to have music up front and to kind of add it to that. It helps you kind of plan shots. I nerd out way more about edits when I have music that I'm really passionate about that I know is going to not, like, get flagged, any of that stuff. You know, yeah. so I just love that aspect of it. Oh, I bet you're way more sure of yourself when it's done. You're yeah, because like, you you're like this is what. Yeah, this I can. I feel it's making me feel a certain way. Or oh, I feel like we should mention this too, just because people know that we met through Second City. Right. Kind of funny. That's how me and Matt met too. Yeah. Serendipitously, uh, awesome. Are you still like hung over from making and editing and directing and acting <laughs> in a whole movie? Yeah. Or do you already have like stuff planned? I'm definitely a little hung over from it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting. So I actually did record a rap album on Friday. <laughs> yes! Uh, yeah, I love rapping. Um, and it's just something that I, 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 I honestly, it's, it's for me. Like, I just love writing raps and Hell yeah. moving around. And I Can we use a sample in this video? Sure. Mm. Yes! Because it's everlasting fire like the branch Dumbledore enchanted for the giants. A medicine for peasants, but I'm cancer to the tyrants. If you're a to Edison, the answer might be violence. That was cool because I just want to make time to do shit that's just like, there's no end game. Like, right. it's, it's just for the environment yeah. of itself. Mm -hmm. I'm writing a TV pilot with a friend, and then I'm writing a feature film with a friend and oh yeah the idea was that I was gonna film the TV pilot this summer and that I was gonna film the feature film in the fall but I kind of had an epiphany this past week and I think I'm gonna move to Los Angeles this summer. yeah do so, it dude uh, definitely so he packed a grip and he split for the coast la la land LA so I think I'm kind of like reevaluating like what can I make and do until then and yep kind of the name of the game for me is like save money and like work I fully more. endorse that yeah. decision thank you hey can I grab some more ketchup yeah, uh, ketchup up. I love how much you. Dude, I'm like the kid in Big Daddy right now. Yeah, I really Dirty I packets of ketchup. <laughs> Frankenstein, what do you want? Dirty packets of ketchup. All right. That one touched the ground. That one touched the ground. <laughs> that one touched the ground. That one touched the ground. That one touched the ground. <laughs> Hold on, dead guy coming through. Could have been a saved guy. Where's the dead guy, sir? But then has a huge medical bill. Um, <laughs> nah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. How long did it take you? Not including like writing the screenplay. So we started the production last January, and then I finished. I had the premiere December 2017. So I did it a little less than a year. Still such a long process, though. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah dude. Well, also when seasons were changing. And I realized I needed a shot like on a train wearing a coat. <laughs> it's like 80 degrees. And yeah. There's, there's like <laughs> yeah. all close ups. Matt just sweating bullets. <laughs> it really that happened a couple of times. Did you like the editing portion? I like editing a lot, but it it did kind of ruin the movie for me a little bit. Oh, <laughs> I oh. bet you've watched it a yeah. trillion times. Dude, every probably. time I hit export on a video, I'm like, I'm so done with this. It's crazy, because then I, you know, I put it up at a theater for the premiere, so you need to convert the audio file from a, a stereo file to a 5.1 mm -hmm. surround sound. So I was going to this audio engineer's house every day after work for the two weeks up to the premiere to finish it. I watched Ghosted 12 times oh, before yeah. the premiere. Brutal. And I was just like, I fucking hate this. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. I didn't even think about that, because I've edited just like smaller sketches, mainly like five minutes tops, right? And I know how many times you have to watch those just to like catch all the bullshit you're like oh i need to touch this up or fix yeah. this i can't even imagine with a feature yeah. i get really lucky with these where so this won't come out probably for like what a week and a half two yeah, weeks sure. so sean has to go edit them <laughs> so i live them and then like two weeks later i forget what's happened and i get to watch the episode i have no idea what's going to be said like right. i might have an idea but for the most part i watch them fresh and i'm just like oh, i wonder what stupid shit i said yeah today. yeah so i get a lot of joy out of it where you probably just have to rewatch these so i get a lot of joy out of it where you probably just have to rewatch these. Yeah, just a little bit. Glad you get some joy out of it. What'd you edit on? Adobe. What'd you edit on? Adobe Premiere. That's what I use. Yeah. Too. Oh, I told you the other day, edit and like cutting, like cutting video together. I dream in that. In oh the yeah, world. that's weird. You're you're free. Like in blocks and placing stuff and. Damn. Yeah, dude. Freak. He's a freak. Mean, you're a freak. How would you guys feel if I ran into the liquor store and bought a bottle of water? Go for it. Yeah. I, I thought you were gonna say liquor, and I was gonna be like, wow. <laughs> yeah. But I just bought a bottle of Hennessy. Well, yeah, but you <laughs> said that so deadpan. Like you might have to go get a bottle of Hennessy. Matt Baker's just sure. an alcoholic. He's like. <laughs> 
No, yeah, I'm like the opposite. I like haven't drank in like two years. <laughs> One thing that was kind of like, uh, it was funny is I went to Europe this past year. When I was in Europe, I was drinking because it was like part of the experience. Oh, yeah. yeah. And my best friend, Mike, who plays Oliver, was like, I just, he was talking to his boyfriend the other day. He was like, I was just telling him how nice it was that you were actually drinking. <laughs> <laughs> And I was just like so hurt. I was like, yeah, oh, well, funny. I'll try to drink next week. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, it's so it just, weird. Every time it just takes man. a little bit out of me. I hope they don't have a credit card minimum. Yeah, right. They do get that bottle of Hennessy for me, and I'll give you payback. <laughs> hey, Matt, when you watch this, when it goes live, sorry I didn't offer you my water, but <laughs> this little son of a bitch. Well, I am sick and greedy, apparently. Right, sick and greedy. Man, I'm such a. D you are such a. D Scott. You're a d Yard. Are you good to go? I'm good. Yeah, Sweet. it's only three dollar minimum. So I bought a Twix. Oh, there you go. That's a great candy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. It's a Twix! They're all Twix! Out of five water bottles on a Twix, how many water bottles on a Twix <laughs> do you give the buffalo chicken wrap? from Pick Me Up Cafe. Matt, you're first. Out of five, how many out do you get? Out of five? Mm -hmm. Ooh. I'm gonna go with a, with a five on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, it's, that's five, your yeah. pick. Like, you know, obviously I'm biased. I just like, if you wanna have, if, if, if you're looking for a buffalo chicken wrap with french fries, this is like, you know. Yeah, and this place is open till 2 a.m. And but, their yeah. whole thing, I did a little bit of research on them because I was just curious about like how long Pick Me Up Cafe's been here. Since 97, Damn. it's one of the first places in the area that offered like vegetarian and vegan options for oh. people. But they wanted to be appealing to everyone. So you can still get, like you said, like yeah. super meaty sandwiches. Sandwiches and stuff they got like good that. booze and stuff like, in there too. And great oh, drinks yeah, and great good coffee good in there. Mm -hmm. Really oh, good lattes too. in oh, there. Yeah. I love their espresso. Really cool. Really good vibe. It's a great eatery. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good oh, place yeah. to bring your laptop. Get some work done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or a good place to just be seen writing in public. Did you know an artist is someone who creates art? It's true. This is what I'll say. It's an excellent buffalo chicken wrap. That I, I don't know if I've had a better one. Okay. I like it when you give the addition. <laughs> just like, just say it. No, just this is a good. <laughs> Look me in the face when you <laughs> me, Corey. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this, give him eye this is gonna be a good score. I want to say. From behind, he's gonna say this. Specifically, when you add the ambiance and environment of that place, that's why I'm giving it a five. Because mm. the buff, the buffalo chicken wrap was excellent. Yeah, I'm not gonna give it a five. Uh, oh. I, get, I, get, I mean, nothing wrong with it. I just, I, come on, I might be that positive. Um, I get buffalo chicken wraps like all the time when I go to like diners and stuff. It's one of my go-to lunch things, and that's good. But I wanted a little bit more chicken in it, um, so I'm gonna give it a four. I got a chicken I'm gonna give it a four. A piece out of of that's 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 that's. that's <laughs> Being contrarian yeah. for, the, for the sake of it. Hey, man. I just, still had a great time. It was great to meet Matt. I can't wait to check out Ghosted. Uh, by the way, links below. Um, so, yeah, really, yeah, it's still a great day. And I had a phenomenal chicken. Get the f out of here. <laughs> yeah, we're just, <laughs> I'm just razzing you. Are you just razzing me? Oh, eat it, bitch. Yeah. It's always good. Boom! Once again, please check out Ghosted, Matt's baby. He came to Chicago and he made this amazing yeah, movie. So please sick. check it out. It's free on Amazon. So if you, you have, have Prime. Yeah, well, free if you don't have Prime, get the f out of here, dude. <laughs> get the f out of here. All Matt's links are below to check out his other stuff. Matt, thanks for being on the show, oh, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I mean, it was really great. It was, amazing. it was amazing. It was amazing going to uh, Pick Me Up Cafe during the day. I've never seen it during the day. I was telling them I've only eaten there at night. Corey and I put out new videos every single weekday, Monday through Friday, if you know what weekdays are. And uh, so that means tomorrow there will be another video that you should watch. Do it! See you, Matt. Later, brother. Later, dude. <laughs> good dude. He is a good, good dude. Talented <sighs> dude. So I just think it's so cool the amount of work to fucking put to make a movie. Oh my god, take a whole year to do insane. one idea. Oh yeah. Icicles, dude. Yeah. Dude, there's decicles in Chicago right now. You walk by the wrong dude, ledge, right? you're done here. Seriously. Bye.